Welcome. We're going to do three deep cleansing breaths before we get started with the session. This time a series of five. Inhale through your nose to five. Hold it to five. And then exhale to five. I'll do it with you. Are you ready? Inhale through your nose. Hold it. Exhale. Remember, your lung capacity sends oxygen to all your organs. It's vitally important. And as more as you practice the deep breathing on your own, the bigger, the stronger, the better your lung capacity will become. Let's breathe again. Inhale. Hold it. Exhale. Also remember, it might help to put your hand on your belly and your hand on your throat. What you want to do is fill that balloon and your lungs are the balloon. So you fill it. And what happens when you fill a balloon? It comes round and fat, doesn't it? Yeah. So let's breathe in through our nose. Hold it and your belly should be fat because it's full of air. And exhale. And a normal belly size again as you exhale the air out. So let's do one extra breath. Ready? Inhale. Hold it. It might help when you're exhaling to put a little pressure on that belly, that torso, that lung area. Get the diaphragm to help you. Then it won't be so difficult for either one of you, your lungs or your air capacity. So you won't have to worry about, am I doing this right? Am I doing this wrong? The only thing that we're doing differently than you would rather breathe normally is that we are doing it on purpose. We're bypassing that involuntary action to breathe. But over the years, we've become lazy and we breathe shallow. And it's better for your whole body if you learn to breathe purposefully and deeply and that way your body will become used to it and instead of breathing those shallow breaths those lazy breaths you'll start to on your own breathe deeply now in just a few moments we will begin the session but first i'd like you to relax comfortably be completely relaxed I want you to try to relax your arms and your legs, relax your shoulders, relax your neck. Most of us are not aware how much stress we hold in our faces, for instance, when we clench our jaws, or how much stress we hold in our shoulders and in our neck so bring your shoulders up to a giant shrug and hold them there for two to three seconds and then release them you can feel it can't you 
You can feel how much anxiety and tension you hold there when you do it on purpose and then release. So relax your shoulders. Once they're relaxed, roll them in a circle motion. And the same with your neck. Move it back and forth and side and the other side. As relaxed and comfortable as you can be. Breathing nice and even breaths. You are a co-participant. You share some of this responsibility of getting your body ready for the induction. We'll begin very shortly. This session is called Connections. And if you are aware and awake, you already know what I mean in terms of spiritual or cosmic connections. I'd like to begin by saying three of your favorite words. Fall for me. Yes, you may fall for me. You may fall for me deeply and completely. Your body relaxed and me inside your mind, reinforcing that trigger I planted. Fall for me. Fall for me deeply and completely. As we talk about spiritual connections, uh, the connections on an unconscious level. And we use as creative visualization a starry night sky. This time, we're going to stay right here on Earth and we're going to experience cosmic connection. We're going to experience a connection from ourselves to the Earth. This time, we're going to experience a connection from ourselves to ourselves and others. This time we're going to experience it through water. What is the largest body of water that you can think of? Well, that would be an ocean or a sea. Fall for me. Fall for me right now. Fall for me deeply and completely. You don't have to think right now. It's just me and you. And the words I'm saying are music to your ears. Every time I say fall for me, you can go deeper. And I will remind you often. So fall for me. Fall for me deeply and completely. We're talking about connections. You and I, right now, are connected, aren't we? My voice into your ears, into your mind. You may feel the connection throughout your entire body. You may feel a fuzziness or a dizziness or a fogginess in your mind as I envelope myself around you, inside you, outside you, above and beneath you. Talking about large bodies of water, an ocean or a sea, streams and babbling brooks are tributaries that flow into a river which is an estuary where fresh water meets the salt water of the sea you can picture them why well, it's easy to picture things that you're familiar with and we're saying on the earth this time so you can recognize in your mind in any way you want to visualize it, whether it's a map or whether it's something you've seen from your memories. Streams and rivers, you can envision them. You know what they look like. Bodies of water, the babbling brook. What if you could follow that babbling brook all the way to an estuary? And even further than that, what if you could follow that babbling brook all the way from the estuary to the sea. This time the metaphor here is the 
sea or the ocean. That's cosmic consciousness. The connections we make. Those vital connections we make throughout our lives. Fall for me. You can fall for me. Fall deeper. Fall for me deeper. Fall for me deeply and completely. The words you're listening to don't have to make any real sense. They're sinking into your mind, enveloping your mind, planting seeds in your mind, much like I have planted the trigger, your trigger. Fall for me. The more you fall, the deeper you can fall. The deeper you fall, the more you can feel. And the more you feel connected, the more you feel connected to me is like the fresh water meeting the salt water of the sea. We're all together. We are all one. We are all made, composed of atoms and molecules down to the micro level, down to the metaphysical level. We all vibrate. We all have our special own vibration. And when we're connected, when we are bonded, when we become one, a connection that can last throughout our lifetimes, a connection that can branch off into another tributary, the connection that can branch off into a stream, the connection that can branch off into an estuary, and finally reach the destination, fresh water meeting salt water you meeting me and making that connection on a deeper level on a much deeper level than most of us can comprehend it takes a wide open mind to experience this kind of cosmic connection that when i hit a tuning fork you will feel the vibration no matter where we are in the world when you call out my name that I will sense it and make myself available to you. Fall for me. Fall for me deeper. The deeper you fall, the more you can feel. Fall deeper. Fall for me deeper. Fall for me deeply and completely. The time is running short for this audio, so I must wake you now. Unfortunate though it may be, there is another file coming out very soon. So I am going to gently wake you to the count of five. Up, number one, wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Up, number two, I want you to stretch your arms, stretch your legs, that's right. Up, number three, your eyes, become aware of your surroundings, up number four, you're focusing now, you could come to the upright position, and number five, you are awake, make sure you're focused, make sure you're very steady, and go get a glass of water, a glass of juice, by now, after listening to this, I imagine you might be thirsty.